Dragon Riders, Dreamers, and Dragon Knights. The Targaryen dynasty ruled for centuries, but who conquered and who was deemed unworthy? We're climbing the branches of one of the messiest family trees in Westeros. During House of the Dragon, the Targaryens rule Westeros, but they have more humble origins than their wealth in dragons suggest, and aren't even from the western continent. The family can trace its roots back to Valyria, the one-time capital city of the Freehold in Essos. As King Viserys explains to Alicent Hightower, Valyria was a city so great the world hadn't seen its equal in the centuries since its destruction. In the world of ice and fire, George R. R. Martin points out how the Targaryens were among dozens of dragon-riding families who called Valyria home, but they weren't a major power. While their mass exodus was seen as an act of weakness, only three houses escaped Valyria before it was destroyed – the Targaryens, the Valarians, and the Celtigars. They survived because of the visions of Daenys Targaryen, also known as Daenys the Dreamer, which prophesied the fiery downfall of their civilization. Her father, Aenar, had uprooted his people and fled about 12 years before the doom fell on Valyria, which included Daenys's brother, Gaemon. Gaemon married Daenys and ruled as Lord of Dragonstone after his father. For about 70 years, Targaryens remained at Dragonstone and continued wedding sisters to brothers. Aegon Targaryen is clearly the most important figure in Martin's fantastical fictional history. The second child of Lord Arion Targaryen would marry both his older sister, Visenya, and his younger sister, Rhaenys. Though it is believed that Aegon married Visenya out of expectation and Rhaenys because he was smitten. He first sired the child Aenys with Rhaenys. His child with Visenya, named Maegor, came along five years later. But before there was a crown and a throne for either of them to inherit, Aegon had to earn his nickname and do some conquering. Say what you will about the Targaryens, they were conquerors. That is a seat for a conqueror. The full story of Aegon's conquest of the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros could fill several seasons of another Game of Thrones prequel series. House of the Dragon adds a motivation for Aegon's conquest besides raw ambition. He had a dream about a coming threat from the north which he etched into the blade of the cat's paw dagger he inherited from his ancestor, Lord Aenar. Aegon believed that only a Targaryen king or queen with dragons was formidable enough to face whatever danger was to come. There's bound to be tension in a love triangle. It was no different with Aegon, Visenya, Rhaenys, and their children. Since the king preferred the company of his younger wife, he kept Rhaenys and Aenys with him at King's Landing, while Visenya and Maegor lived at Dragonstone. The two princes had little in common and didn't care for each other. Aenys was undersized and sickly, which spurred rumors that he wasn't actually Aegon's son. But he grew up to be a dreamer and a dragon rider like his father, possessing gifts that Aegon did not. He was charming, sociable, talented, and clever. When Aegon died of a stroke around age 64, Aenys hurried on his dragon Quicksilver to the funeral and was declared the next king. In a political calculation, he bequeathed his father's ancestral sword, Blackfire, to his half-brother Maegor and suggested they'd rule together. He knew Maegor, who was an enormous warrior without an equal, would be a better ally than an enemy. The king's personal life was fruitful, having six children with his wife, Alyssa Valaria, but his reign was not. After five years of rebellions and assassination attempts, Aenys died, with some believing that Visenya and Maegor orchestrated his death. Maegor was almost the inverse of his half-brother, taking six wives but having no surviving children. While he is responsible for completing much of the construction of King's Landing, his burning of the Sept of Remembrance, mass executions of builders, and general oppression of Westeros' people earned him the nickname Maegor the Cruel. Maegor was found dead of mysterious circumstances on the Iron Throne. He had no heir, so the succession passed to Aenys and Alyssa's oldest surviving son, Jaehaerys. The Faith of the Seven, the dominant religion in Westeros, had risen against Aenys when he betrothed his children, Rhaena and Aegon, to each other. The siblings were later killed. Following in his family's tradition, the new 14-year-old King Jaehaerys wanted to marry his sister, Alicent. His mother Alyssa tried to forbid it, fearing a war with the church. I serve the gods. The gods demand justice. How do they communicate their demands? By raven or horse? 
But the king would get his way, wedding Alisan in secret. When he instituted the doctrine of exceptionalism when he came of age, he ensured that only Targaryen royals could enter into sibling marriages. He made peace with Magor's few remaining loyalists by restoring their titles and lands so long as they recognized his legitimacy. Jaehaerys and Alisan were almost always together throughout his prosperous 45-year dynasty. Though Jaehaerys was one of the Seven Kingdoms' most effective rulers, his long life and legendary fertility created the conditions for civil war. Of Jaehaerys and Alisan's 13 children, only one survived their father's reign. The king and queen's first, 11th, and 12th children died in infancy, while their second, 6th, 10th, and 13th met their ends in a variety of ways in their teenage years. Their eighth child, Dela, reached adulthood but passed away during a difficult labor. Their ninth, Sarah, was a troubled girl who ran away to Volantis, where she operated a pleasure house and bore many illegitimate children. She wasn't heard from again. As King Jaehaerys reached old age, just four of his offspring remained alive and at court. His third child, Aemon, his fourth, Balon, his fifth, Alyssa, and his seventh, Vagon. Jaehaerys named Aemon his heir and Prince of Dragonstone. Balon and Alyssa married each other. Vagon became an archmaester. The succession seemed secure until Aemon was killed in battle during a conflict in Myr. He left behind a wife, Lady Jocelyn Baratheon, and a daughter, Rhaenys Targaryen, who had recently married Corlys Velaryon. Balon was made the new Prince of Dragonstone. His sister wife, Princess Alyssa, had perished giving birth to their third child after their sons Viserys and Daemon were born, leaving Jaehaerys and Alysanne with two surviving heirs. Then Balon succumbed to appendicitis just five days later. House of the Dragon insinuates that Otto Hightower may have plotted the prince's death to advance his own position, but in the end, Vagon was the single Targaryen child to outlive King Jaehaerys. Balon's death caused a Westerosi crisis. The king's advisors and the lords of the realm all agreed that Vagon wasn't a viable candidate for the crown, as he was unpopular and disinterested in leadership. Only two were considered reasonable, Aemon's grandson, Laenor Velaryon, and Balon and Alyssa's son Viserys. King Jaehaerys convened what's known as the Great Council of 101 AC at Harrenhal, where a thousand lords took six months to gather and decide who should succeed the long-reigning king. Though Aemon was the older prince and Rhaenys thought his line should have the stronger claim, the lords chose Viserys as he was 24 years in age compared to Laenor's seven years, though in House of the Dragon they chose Viserys over Rhaenys because he's male. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch and see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. But the council's vote didn't resolve the succession with as much finality that the king had hoped for. Viserys ascended the Iron Throne two years later when Jaehaerys died in his sleep, around the time Viserys' wife Emma died in childbirth. As a result, he named his daughter Rhaenyra as his heir and Princess of Dragonstone. This angered his brother Daemon, who coveted the title and assumed he'd follow his brother as the next Targaryen king. Though he remained supportive of Rhaenyra's claim to the Iron Throne, Viserys took a second wife, Alicent Hightower, with whom he had four more children, Aegon, Helena, Aemond, and Daeron. King Viserys insisted Rhaenyra marry Laenor Velaryon. Though their union was a political arrangement, with Laenor preferring the company of men, they produced three children, Jaehaerys, Lucerys, and Joffrey Velaryon. In truth, however, these boys were likely the sons of Sir Harwin Strong. Rhaenyra's rumored lover and captain of the Gold Cloaks. All three resembled the man known as Breakbones, with their bulky physiques, broad noses, and brown hair. This complicated Rhaenyra's legitimacy in the eyes of some at court and among some common folk. They believed that if her sons were illegitimate, they had no business sitting on the Iron Throne. Though Rhaenyra and Daemon were rivals on paper, they always enjoyed a close relationship. Around the same time she wed Laenor, Daemon, free to marry again after the death of his first wife, married Laenor's sister, Lena. The happy dragon-riding couple had twin daughters, Vela and Reyna, before Lena died laboring with their stillborn son. Shortly thereafter, Laenor was allegedly killed in a fight with his companion. Before the customary mourning period was over, Rhaenyra and Daemon exchanged vows without King Viserys' permission. They would have two fully Targaryen sons, Aegon and Viserys. Since Rhaenyra's claim was tenuous despite her father's decree and the Lord's oaths, so was the position of her five sons. Those who supported her line were called the Blacks. 
In the books, this is a reference to address the princess war at her father and Allison's fifth anniversary celebration. The rivals of the Blacks were the Greens, so named for Queen Alicent's green gown. The Greens backed Viserys and Alicent's firstborn son, though Aegon's only claim was that he was male and Rhaenyra was not. Thanks to his grandfather and mother's statecraft, the Greens were able to win young Aegon many allies. Alicent married her son to his sister, Helena, and the teenage bride quickly became pregnant with twins, whom she named Jaehaerys and Jaehaera. While the couple would later welcome another son, Maelor, Aegon was thought to have depraved sexual appetites and possibly sired many more illegitimate children. Look at the shame on your wife. On me. How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Because the Greens remained at King's Landing while the Blacks were often found at Dragonstone, Alicent and Aegon were privy to the news of the death of King Viserys I. Aegon II was installed as the new king before word reached Princess Rhaenyra, who crowned herself in a separate ceremony in response to her half-brother's treason. Aegon II would rule over a kingdom in a civil war for about two years. The scheming and dragon battles between the Greens and the Blacks resulted in the deaths of Aegon's sister wife Helena and his three sons. With his defeat seeming imminent, Aegon II was poisoned by a group of conspirators at his court, likely to prevent any further cruelty. Peace finally returned to the realm with the ascension of King Aegon III. While Rhaenyra and Daemon both died during the Dance of Dragons, as did her sons Jaehaerys, Lucerys, and Joffrey, her children with Daemon, Aegon, and Viserys survived. Jaehaera, the daughter of Aegon II and Helena, also survived. While these cousins were sworn enemies, they eventually married each other. For five years, Aegon III was too young to rule, and a group of regents worked to mend the kingdom's divisions. However, the king could not be mended after the trauma he'd witnessed and experienced, becoming known as Aegon the Unlucky, Aegon the Unhappy, and Aegon the Broken. Jaehaera suffered invisible wounds from the dance as well. She threw herself from a window before she and her cousin husband could consummate the match, thus ending the genetic line of the Greens. Aegon III took Daenerys Velaryon as his second wife, and she gave him five children. After a 25-year reign, Aegon III died of consumption at only 36 years old. His sons Daeron and Baelor became the next two Targaryen kings, but both of their stints on the throne were cut short by their own fatal flaws. Daeron was killed trying to conquer Dorne before he could produce heirs. Baelor was a religious fanatic who remained celibate even after he was married to his sister Dana. He eventually died because of a self-imposed hunger strike. Daemon and Rhaenyra's second son, Viserys, had been hand to the last three monarchs, so he was well prepared for the job when he became the 10th Targaryen king. King Viserys II was more like his great-great-grandfather, Jaehaerys, rather than his namesake. He was an excellent communicator and reformer that improved life throughout Westeros. He established a central bank, expanded freedoms, and improved trade relations, all within his first year on the Iron Throne. Unfortunately, it was his only year on the throne. Viserys II died unexpectedly at age 50 due to a sudden illness. His sickness struck him very hard and very fast. It... Rhaenyra and Daemon's last child continued their line with Targaryen children of his own, Aemon, Aegon, and Nerys born of his wife, Lara Rogar. Aemon became a member of the Kingsguard and went down in history as the legendary Dragon Knight. King Aegon IV succeeded his father as king, married his sister Nerys, and cemented his legacy as Aegon the Unworthy, a corrupt and hedonistic monarch surrounded with yes-men and mistresses who plunged the kingdoms into ruin. His uncontrollable lust led him to father at least 13 illegitimate children, while only producing two true-born children with Queen Nerys, Daeron and Daenerys. Worst of all, Aegon IV is suspected of having poisoned his own father, Viserys II, to hasten his ascension to the throne. Aegon the Unworthy caused chaos even after his disastrous reign. Before he died from his own sloth and gluttony, he legitimized his bastards and bequeathed the ancestral sword Blackfire to his eldest, Daemon Waters. 
Aegon IV resented his true-born son, Daeron, and began a rumor that the prince was really the love child of his brother, Aemon the Dragon Knight, and his sister wife, Nerys, in an attempt to undermine Daemon's succession claim. Daemon renamed himself Daemon Blackfire and gathered an army to oppose the new King Daeron II. Thus, the Targaryens and the kingdoms were torn apart by a second and longer civil war. Daron was popular with some Westerosi lords because he was everything his father was not. Cultured, diplomatic, just, and he had finally united Dorne with the rest of Westeros through his marriage to Miria Martell. Others sided with Daemon Blackfire, as there was still animosity toward Dorne after so many losses there. They thought Daemon's possession of Blackfire, his father's final decree, and his military prowess made him the stronger claimant. In total, there would be five Blackfire rebellions over the course of half a century. Daeron II was succeeded by his son Aerys I, who had no heirs, and Makar I, who had six children with his wife Diana Dane. Daeron, Arion, Aemon, Dela, Aegon, and Rey. The story of Makar's children is told in Martin's anthology, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Makar's eldest son, Daron the Dreamer, or Daron the Drunk, was tormented by prophetic visions and died of pox. His second son, Arion, believed himself to be a dragon in human form and accidentally took his own life by drinking wildfire, hoping it would reveal his true form. This left Makar's third son, Aemon, next in line, except he had become a maester. Another great council was convened with the questions, should Aemon be released from his vows, or should Aegon, Makar's fourth son, who had been living as a peasant with the knight Sir Duncan, be crowned instead? The gods were cruel when they saw fit to test my vows. They shouldn't have bothered, as Aemon abdicated the Iron Throne and banished himself to the wall so that he couldn't be used against his brother. King Aegon V became the 15th Targaryen king, reigning for nearly 25 years over a kingdom that was intermittently at war with the Blackfires. He'd married Betha Blackwood of his own accord years earlier, and they had five children, Duncan, Jaehaerys, Shira, Daron, and Rael. This king and queen wanted to move away from the Targaryen tradition of incestual marriage and arranged marriages for their children with the other great Westerosi houses like the Baratheons and the Tullys. Duncan renounced the throne to marry a peasant named Jenny of Oldstones, while Jaehaerys and Shira married each other. King Jaehaerys II would succeed his father after the tragedy at Summerhall in which Aegon V, Duncan, and many others were killed. This reportedly occurred when the king tried to hatch dragon eggs, setting the palace on fire. Jaehaerys II and Shira had two children of their own, Aerys and Rayla. Though they had wed for passion, they joined their son and daughter together against King Aegon V's wishes due to a witch's prophecy. The witch predicted that the fabled prince who was promised would come from their union. Knowing what we know now about Aegon I's dream, this was likely a stronger motivating factor for Jaehaerys rather than tradition. Jaehaerys II died of illness and Aerys II ascended to the throne. He and his sister wife Rael had three children, Rhaegar, Viserys, and Daenerys, but lost many more to miscarriage and stillbirth. Aerys had dallied with mistresses early on, but he came to believe the deaths of his children were punishment for his infidelity. When Rhaegar survived, he swore faithfulness to his wife. However, he became superstitious, then outright paranoid. He blamed failed pregnancies on his wife Rayla's supposed cheating, imprisoning her under guard in Maegor's holdfast. As the Mad King grew vengeful and unhinged, the Targaryen dynasty fell apart. Growing suspicious that his one-time friend and hand, Tywin Lannister, was conspiring to overthrow him, he married his eldest son Rhaegar to Aaliyah Martell of Dorne. The Mad King also became obsessed with wildfire, using it to execute his perceived enemies. He intended to blow up the city should Robert Baratheon's rebellion prevail. Instead, his Kingsguard, Jaime Lannister, assassinated him before the message to carry out the order could be delivered. During the rebellion, the Mad King had his son Viserys and wife Rayla, who was then pregnant with Daenerys, ferried away to Dragonstone. He kept Rhaegar's family with him at the Red Keep, where they were all brutally killed during the sack of King's Landing, along with Rhaegar himself. While Robert claimed Rhaegar kidnapped and violated his betrothed, Lyanna Stark, Game of Thrones reveals they had actually married and that their baby, Aegon Targaryen, was born out of love. Lyanna made her brother Ned promise to keep this secret, and the child was concealed under the name Jon Snow. You've never been a bastard. You are Aegon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. 
Robert became king and married Cersei Lannister. Like Rhaenyra before her, Cersei had three illegitimate children with her brother Jaime, but none lived long enough to produce any heirs, and the Lannister family line died out. Elsewhere, Viserys and Daenerys Targaryen lived in exile in the Free Cities. Daenerys expected to wed her brother to strengthen the family line, but Viserys married her to call Drogo of the Dothraki to secure a large enough army to retake the Iron Throne. When Viserys offended the new Khaleesi and her people, they poured molten gold over his head, killing him. Daenerys would give birth to a stillborn son, and though she consummated her relationship with her nephew, Jon Snow, he was forced to slay her after she laid waste King's Landing. This left Jon, or Aegon, the last hanging leaf on the Targaryen family tree. 